Oh man. What's up, people? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Trenton Steele, aka Father Div. And I am very excited because my channel just reached a thousand subscribers. And I'm actually at 1600. Sweet. It's done this in a matter of, I don't know, maybe a month. Reason why, because there's a video, I'm not gonna tell you which one, but if you can guess it, I, I, I rocks with you, I rocks with you. But if you don't, don't worry about it, it's not important. Um, I'll tell you later. <laughs> because I've reached this milestone, and because you guys helped me reach this milestone, I want to give you guys the opportunity to get something. So one lucky person will receive this gift. And of course, you probably already know what this gift is. It is a lens. And it is the 50 millimeter 1.8 by Canon. This is the Nifty 50. This is a very fantastic lens. If you don't have it, I don't know why you don't have it. You're really lacking. You die. What's wrong with you? But <laughs> I'm actually recording with this lens right now. So you see how the video quality is on it. It's very good looking. It's very up, 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 up. It's up there. And I'm also gonna show you in a few minutes later what this camera can do for you for pictures. So instead of me taking on the 1DX Mark II, I'm gonna take it on the 5D Mark IV because I barely show it any love unless I'm doing a wedding. So we're gonna take pictures and we're gonna cover portraits, headshots, landscapes, just to show you how versatile this lens is because if you don't have this lens, I don't know why. Like, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? Like, this is what you need, especially for starting out with. It's a hundred and something dollar lens. I wanna say like 110, somewhere up in there. But this can be yours for free. All you have to do is just like, share, comment, subscribe, and it's yours. That's it. That's it. That's it. So we're going to jump right over to Meridian right now with, of course, you already know who. Julio. Hello, guys. <laughs> so we're going to make our way downtown. Is it? Why does that sound like a song? It is a song. But it's we're gonna oh, make it my way. Yeah, downtown. that one. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> we're gonna walk around downtown to see what we can find, and we're gonna get some shots in so you guys can see what the 50 millimeter can do, how beneficial it is, and why you should have one. And if you don't have one, why you should try to get this one because it's really easy process. So whenever we get in over there, we're gonna walk. All the way over there and get this content for you. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go to the top of this. But you know how when you like far back, things don't look that big? This is definitely one of those type situations because that's like... Ooh. Yeah! That's a lot. And you know, I don't really rock with the steps like that. But I'm gonna do it for y'all. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna get a picture of him right there because that's actually kind of fire. At least I think so. And he tells me that they have an elevator, so forget them steps. 50 millimeter, 1.8 will be yours again. But we're gonna start right here. I'm gonna try to shoot them through the bars, I guess you could say, through the gate, fence, whatever. I call it bars, because I like bars. You guys may disagree with me, but whatever. Let's see what we can get. So that's how that looks. Um, I kind of noticed that the 5D Mark IV images are a little bit more creamier and softer compared to the 1DX Mark II. I feel like one day I should do a comparison between the 5D Mark IV and the 1DX Mark II just to, you know, just for shits and giggles, just to see. But we're gonna walk up to the top right now and we may get some along the way in the building because when you shoot in a garage, you know, those dark shadows in the middle of it. I kind of like in the columns. 
So we'll just see what we can do. Say we're gonna go to the top of the garage. We'll see. We're not gonna make this a long vlog at all. We're just gonna continue to keep shooting, get you about 15, 20 pictures. Yeah, you got all that stuff on you. All of it. Uh, but it blends in with the pants. So yeah. so yeah, we're gonna run up there real quick, get some So this isn't nowhere dark as I thought it was gonna be, but it'll still do. I'm thinking of shooting down here and just have him in the middle, or I could shoot in this wide space, or shoot him out the window or the opening. That is, at least until we get to the top. When we get to the top, it's gonna be a whole different story. You can get your silhouettes. I'm gonna take a landscape shot with it just to show you how you can do that. I mean, we've done portraits. Well, we haven't done portraits yet. We're gonna do portraits when we get up. We've done uh, full body pictures, which you could kind of call portraits, but portraits are usually considered, you know, from waist up or headshots, or something like that. So we're gonna get true portraits and headshots once we get up there. And we're gonna get some landscape pictures, which would be like probably pictures of the city. So you can see all the benefits that this lens has to offer. And it also goes down to 1.8. I'll try my best to get that, but it's a very sunny day. But we have clouds, so it's not as bright. I guess you call it an overcast. So we're gonna run it to the top, get that for you, and we're gonna bring it on home with you, all right? Bet. So for those of you that really keep up with me, this place should look familiar. Um, this is where I filmed a surprise engagement at. And if you wanna watch it, you can watch that right there. It should be like hovering right there. But that was really a fun thing to film. And I really enjoyed that. And if, you know, this is me advertising myself. If you need your boy to film something for you, come holler at me. But yeah, we're gonna get Julio right now. He's in a very, comfortable position, which is what I like to get from people to be the most comfortable they can be, the most relaxed, because that's true, genuine character. It's not no pose or no fake stuff. That's all natural. Oh, well, figure it out. Mm. Why didn't you got me the other day? For what? And it's like cops are here. I wish I could have seen how quick I put that cigarette out. <laughs> I seen 12. I said, oop, 12, whoop, out. It was out the gate, like, she was cool though. She with us. She was like, we just do us. Let it, it was be. a cigarette though. I don't know why he put it out like Cause it you was, know they don't, <laughs> you don't supposed to smoke cigarettes here. It say no smoking. 
on the door. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so well, I wasn't trying to get jammed up. So supposedly what happened was it was two people up here before us and they were sitting right where Julio was sitting, but somebody said that people were up here hanging off the building. So I don't kind of madness is that? Yeah, I don't know what that is, but we're gonna go ahead and get the portrait and then we're gonna get the headshot and then we're gonna get the landscape. Hello? He's you actually on a FaceTime call right now, so that's why we're taking the pictures like this. Anymore. So I guess you could kind of consider those as portraits. Um, and then now we're gonna get the headshots whenever he get yep. off the phone since I started to showcase how they look when they come from a 15 millimeter because normally I do it with the 85, but you can do it with the 50 and I have done with the huh? 50. So I'm, um, just keep that in mind. Now we're about to get the headshots. <clears throat> so we're gonna show how that looks. Um, Really, I kind of want him in the center of this and we're gonna see how it looks. I'm gonna try to take this all the way down to 1.8 so you can see the buka in this. But in order to do that, I'm gonna have to raise up the exposure to not let in so much light. Right. So let's go ahead and run into it. All right, so that's at 3.2. Now I'm gonna take it down to 2.2 to show you the difference. normally where you would use your ND filter because it's so bright um, and the sun is getting ready to go back behind a cloud again so once it does that we should be good so we're just gonna wait until that gets back behind the cloud and then we're gonna do that because I'm already at 8,000 of a shutter speed so I'm not sure how this up oh, there it is right there so we're gonna go ahead and take it down to 2 point no 1.8 to show you the true capabilities of the fifth amendment Apparently he's excited about it. <laughs> so that's what they look like at 1.8. Remember, this is a $110 lens. You cannot beat this. You see, you see what it can do, you see the capability of it. And you can have one. All you gotta do is like, share, comment, and subscribe. Just tell me why you want this lens in the comments, or just leave a motivational message. I don't care. But you need to do all of those. Okay, once you do that, just comment it, leave some motivational stuff if you want to, tell me why you need it, and I'm shipping it to you. You ain't gotta pay shipping. It's yours, all right? So, yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching this. As we leave out, as I put up everything else, you may just hear us rambling, and we're gonna post up the environmental footage, the landscape footage that the 50 millimeter can do. And until next time, I'm out. But I really, really, really appreciate you guys subscribing. Thanks for helping me get my first thousand. Looking forward to my next 10 or nine, which gives me 10. I want, I want that meal. I ain't there yet, but I'm gonna get there. But until next time, guys, I appreciate it. Yeah.